Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here in Oslo at the North Shipping 2019, and we're very pleased to be joined by Oscar DeGroen of Kaiser. And Oscar, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gregory. Okay, Oscar, uh, what, what, what is your title and what specifically are you responsible for with Kaiser? Uh, together with my other colleague, we are uh, the new global development uh, managers for developing the marine business for Kaiser. Mm -hmm. uh, as I uh, tried to explain you previously, we, um, we are a well-known industrial manufacturer of uh, industrial compressors. Okay. But uh, we have now the strategy to, uh, to position ourselves much uh, more in the marine market. And if you can just concisely tell me, what, what is the core of Kaiser's business? Well, the core of Kaiser's business is uh, compressed air systems, okay. uh, screw compressors. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, the real big advances Kaiser is offering, especially now also to the marine market, uh -huh. is are the uh, very well designed Sigma screw design. Okay. Um, this is a uh, screw compressor design which is extremely um, uh, efficient in terms of uh, energy consumption. Mm -hmm. So we are able to offer now in this market also our well-known industrial technology um, and offering compressors consuming a lot less energy for producing the same amount of uh, compressed okay. air. Okay, well, I know ship owners and I know they like to, to use as little energy as possible because it costs them money. So can you tell me, where, where are the uh, compressors uh, manufactured? Uh, all the compressors are manufactured in our uh, factory in, uh, located in Coburg in, Gen in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, the company is uh, expanding rapidly, mm -hmm. so uh, there are brand new facilities uh, constructed very recently and the marine compressors are supposed now also to, uh, to end in the new hull. Considering the Kaser range, uh, can you just give us some insight on the scale of the products that you produce? Yes. Well, we uh, fortunately we can offer the whole range. That means we start with very small air compressors uh, made for luxury yachts. Mm -hmm. uh, then you talk about compressors which have just a few kilowatts or a few horsepowers, uh, mm -hmm. explaining it in, in the different unit. And it goes up to uh, air compressors with almost half a megawatt. Mm -hmm which are um, intended for large nitrogen generation uh, uh, packages. Type of ships, what I said, the smallest ones are ending up normally on, uh, on luxury yachts. Mm -hmm. uh, the bigger ones, the industrial ones for control air, for working air, starting compressors. Then we're talking about the, the classical merchant ship, ships like uh, bulk carriers, mm -hmm. LNG carriers, uh, all kind of uh, tankers, chemical tankers, crude oil tankers, mm -hmm. uh, the whole range. And we're focusing, of course, very much also on cruise ships. When you look at the marine market today, where do you see opportunity? Well, I think uh, this is uh, maybe a little bit uh, kicking in an open door, but also we are very much looking at what is happening uh, with uh, alternative fuels, mm -hmm. alternative to heavy fuel oil. Mm -hmm. So what is especially also happening with this whole new wave of interest for LNG mm -hmm. and everything, of course, what is around the LNG technology. And we think with our compressors, we can really contribute to that. Okay. Well, Oscar, you've been very gracious with your time. It's been a busy show. Thank you very much. Thanks to you, Gregory. It was a pleasure talking to you. Okay. This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV.